Hey guys, it's Alicia here with Fitful Circle. I'm all sweaty, nasty. I just got done doing my workout and uh, here's all a mess. Yeah, I haven't taken a shower yet. It's all in a bun, nasty, wrapped up. Um, you know, I have to be honest, sometimes I go to sleep in my workout clothes and then I, well, I change them, of course. I wear a new one the next day, but um, I feel like I live in them sometimes almost because um, I turned it into, it's not only what I love and enjoy and it like de-stress, detox, you know, you feel great, but also uh, it's what I do. You know, I motivate and inspire people all over the world and um, I'm helping women, especially in U.S. and Canada, um, with the 21 day program that I have, I help them um, really learn how to eat right because that is 80% of it or more maybe. I, I, I don't know, I would say it's more, but 80% um, or more of the way you look is by what you consume, what you put in your mouth, what you eat. Um, there are all kinds of unhealthy ways to lose weight, but I prefer to do it the healthy, um, believe me, I tried lots of, um, my mom was overweight. Ever since she had me, um, she struggled with her weight. And um, I guess seeing that, me and my brother both, we, we kind of said, you know, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to try and be healthy and stuff like that. But I didn't know how when I was younger. I, I um, what I thought was healthy maybe was not so much. And I didn't realize um, about labeling and all these ingredients until Long story, but um, I had a son that was born with a gen genetic defect and passed away at a year and three and a half months. So then after that, it kind of was like, why would this happen? And it was not, I'm not a carrier. So if you're a carrier, it's passed down. But this was like lightning striking, like it randomly hit me and my baby. Um, so anyway, that was just kind of my wake up call. Like I need to take care of this body. And before that I had tried, um, I remember reading South Beach diet um, at one time I was doing all low fat and counting, keeping a calorie count in this low, low fat and um, very little nutrition. I remember eating pretzels that have no nutritional value whatsoever. I mean, seriously, pretzels, they have nothing. They're like air. Um, things like that. But um, I tried different ways and I would always... Um, most of the time I got back to my weight, but I was never like muscular... Um, I've never had a, I mean, I had a little over here you could see, but I never had this, these, um, yeah, and uh, just the muscular, my legs, 10 years of no activity between having kids, having my son sick and passing away and marital craziness, um, my legs were nasty, I, I, I was not happy with them. Um, a lot of people say, well, you weren't that bad. Well, really? Okay, not that bad. If you let that go and keep on, it turns into really bad. Five pounds turns into 10 to 15 to 20. You look back four years later and here you're 20 pounds overweight. You're, you went from a size 4, 6 to a size 12, 8, you know, 16, whatever. It adds up and, and life goes by. You don't take, um, you don't take, your life and your your time and everything you don't take it captive and you just kind of let things happen believe me I did that um, and it, it it was a sucky sucky it, I just felt yuck so anyway I, I started studying nutrition and then finally revived I had always loved fitness before I started having kids but then it was like I had one baby then I had the next and he was born sick and it just my life, it was like a big snowball. It just boom, rolling down, picking up more momentum and boom, until one day it was a disaster. And uh, thank God we've picked up the pieces. My God is gracious. I mean, he saved a wretch like me and believe me, I was in the pit big time. So anyway, long story short, I know I've kept talking for four and a half minutes. What I was getting to, was nutrition and treating your body, what we consume is how we look. So if you're eating the big hamburgers, you're gonna look like a big hamburger. Not to be ugly, but the, seriously, I mean, look at what you're eating, the, you know, they pile on. I had a client um, just this past week who um, is very overweight and in one week you could see the change in her face alone. It was like, wow. And that is so, uh, oh, 
I, that's who I want to help is those who are ready to make that change and who are desperate and they are going to follow the steps and follow the recipe and plug in and they are seeing results. And I love that. It's awesome. That fills up my cup and I, I don't want to start crying here. But anyway, so I, I've given tips on coconut oil, um, bread. Today I'm talking about butter. Yeah, butter. <laughs> who doesn't love some good butter on their bread? And here's my thing, what I said, I did the low fat at one time. Fat does not make you fat. And that low fat junk is for the birds. They've been preaching that for like as long as I've been, 40 years, as long as I have been alive. And more people are sick today than they ever were. Obesity is at an all time rate to where they're looking for medicines and things to help. But you know what? It's a lot of the chemicals in the food that make you want to eat more, that make you, your body does not know how to process that stuff that is not real. It's not real food. It's imitation stuff. And there are laws that said they don't have to claim that it's not real food, unfortunately. And I know some people, you know, uh, don't get into that, but seriously, the more real food you eat, that food that was alive at one point or that came from a living thing, like plants, um, animals, you know, then uh, the better off you're gonna look and feel. And it's not so much about how you look, it's about how you feel. Um, I've had people tell my husband, well, you're not that, you know, you're not that bad, you're not that big, and he's not. But here's the thing, he feels like caca, like junk all the time because he, he he has not been a good steward in that area of taking care of his body. And uh, he feels it day in and day out. And a lot of his excuse of, of whatever is that I don't feel good or I've got a headache or my stomach hurts. I mean, seriously, it sucks. But um, I love him. I, I'm going to keep loving him and, uh, you know, just pray that God kind of deals with that. So anyway, I love you, honey, if you're watching this. So butter, we got the real thing, real butter, and we got this margarine, fake, uh, made up stuff. It says without cholesterol, seriously, um, with a vegetable origin, okay? This is totally chemical made up junk. It is not good for you. Anything that says no cholesterol like this, nasty stuff you know what it is it's artery clogging nastiness and it's faster to give you that heart disease than anything I'm telling you the stuff is junk do not throw it out you're better off with the real thing I'm telling you this stuff your body knows what to do knows how to process it uses what it needs and gets rid of the rest please butter real butter saturated fat is actually the better stuff you can totally do your research, but look at the results. Look at what people have said over the last 20, 30, 40 years of saying, I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, eat this fake junk. Yeah, more people have heart disease, diabetes, cholesterol issues, high blood pressure. I mean, seriously, look at the results. Look at the results. Anyway, butter, do it. Real, it's from real stuff, okay? Anyway, love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tip um, and we'll see you next time.